Good morning, my beautiful followers. How's everyone doing today? How is everyone doing? It's a slow morning here, just with my coffee and getting some stuff done. It's been a good morning, a good morning. Uh, and so I was thinking through, this is going to be a short video because I have to go get my nails done. They are just, they're a little ratchety. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. I'm feeling very 80s today in my, in my blue yoga pants. Uh, very, very 80s like in my like loose fitting shirt and, but, and matching sports bra and pants. But it's cozy. But it's cozy. Uh, anyway, I was thinking through just some of the conversations I've been having with clients, some of the conversations I've been having with family and friends. Um, hi, everybody jump in on. Hi, Brian. Hi, Ashraf. Uh, but I was thinking about some of the things going on in my own life and conversations and difficult conversations and issues we've had in communication. And, and I was just like thinking back to some of my own relationships in the past and communication and how communication oftentimes uh, can get super misconstrued, can get really misconstrued. Uh, and what one person means, another person takes differently, and, and all that communication stuff. And today's topic is not about necessarily straightforward communication and how to improve our communication. It really is about that communication when, when it's difficult, when we have to come to a conversation that might be a little difficult. And I was thinking back to... Uh, my most recent relationship breakup. And it was actually a very beautiful, beautiful breakup. Uh, in the moment, it didn't feel very beautiful just because of the emotions that I was experiencing. But uh, it was a truly beautiful breakup. And I can say it because we had the difficult conversation. We came to each other and we went, you know, here, it actually, I, I went to him. He was like, we need to have a hard conversation. We need to have a hard conversation. And hard conversations can go two ways. They can go two ways. They can go really south, really fast. They can include lots of ego. They can include lots of hatred and I'm angry and, and I need to prove my point or I need to really support my point here. And then there's those hard conversations that are actually deeply loving. It comes from a place of tough love, of really being vulnerable, really showing self. And there still often is some ego in it. There is still some ego in those conversations because we are human. But we come at those hard conversations from a very different place. These hard conversations can be a million and one things. Sometimes it's a breakup. Sometimes it's it's a difficulty in a relationship. Sometimes it really is just like, hey, so I know, I know like a couple weeks ago, I looked to a friend and I'm like, I need your opinion on this aspect of myself. And it was a hard conversation because I had to hear things that maybe I didn't necessarily, like I wanted to hear because I was asking, but there was always that ego piece. I was going, do I really want to hear this? Do I really want to hear that this is hard? I have to breathe in here. And that's a difference between a hard conversation that breaks us down and a hard conversation that builds us up. It's do we come at it from a space of love? Do we come at it from a space of connection to self? And do we allow ourselves to be vulnerable in those moments? Do we allow ourselves to come to the table and go, I can hear this. I can hear this. I can hold this. Now, it doesn't really truth fully matter what the other person is saying. It's can you stay in connection with yourself? Can you stay in your own heart? Can you stay out of, of judgment and massive ego and I'm going to prove you wrong? And can you, you, for the most part, stay out of that? Can you come to 
to the conversation with a space of vulnerability and really wanting to hear and really wanting to not hear from a, 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 you know, I hear your words kind of space, but like hearing from a heart space of like, can I actually hear you? Can I hear the things that are between the lines? Can I love you in your share? Can you love me in my share? Can you love me in my emotion? Can you love me in the shadow and the light? This is the difference between the growth that a hard conversation can provide or again, the, the actual depletion, we'll say depletion of our growth because it actually will bind us up more. It will, we'll take another person's verbalizations and we will actually shut ourselves down or we will build more armor up against self. And like I said, this is, it's not an, it, it's this way or this way. Oftentimes it is a beautiful space of us witnessing. Like I said, um, a couple, you know, months ago, I had a conversation with, with my lover at the time and really like, just like going, I think we're done. I think we need to be done here. Like, I love you, but we need to be done. We're, we're, we need to break off this relationship. It's just not serving us anymore. And I remember a piece of me wanting to justify and step into that ego. And it is this witnessing of like, whew, like that's some ego right there. That's some ego. And I, I've had other conversations with friends or family and I have to go, I want to defend here. I want to prove myself here. I want to, I want to get into my ego, but it is this witnessing stance. And, and when we go into defense mode, when we go into armor mode, we are actually disconnecting from our alignment. We are disconnecting from that love. Tough love is actually some of the hardest love. Like we, we talk about love, like it's all, all rainbows and unicorns and butterflies. But the fact is real love, real true love sometimes requires us getting real with another person or another person getting real with us on Things we might not want to hear. If somebody is always building you up and, and always telling you all the positives of you, they're not being real with you. They're not being real with you. You have many beautiful qualities. You do. You do. You're fucking amazing. Just like I'm fucking amazing. But the fact is, we all have pieces that other people can see. We all have these beautiful pieces that other people can sometimes see. Or this confliction that happens with with how somebody else is perceiving you or how you're perceiving yourself i'm not gonna i've done some videos lately on that so i'm not going to get into that too much but but there is this beautiful growth process in these hard conversations but we run from them and that's my that's my point today is we oftentimes run from these conversations but these are the conversations that make a relationship these are the conversations that grow us because we get to hold another person's viewpoints opinions thoughts um, frustrations emotions whatever it might be we get to hold that and there's massive growth in that. There's massive growth in that. There's massive growth of just witnessing who, who I want, I want, there's a piece of me right now that wants to attack or there's a piece of me that wants to crumble or there's a piece of me who wants to defend or armor. And this is where the growth is. This is why relationships are so amazing because they help us grow. And it doesn't matter the kind of relationships. These hard conversations happen in all kinds of relationships. Um, but if you are, are saying that you love somebody, then you also need to make sure that you're having those tough conversations, that you're stepping up to the freaking plate. I can't tell you how many couples I've worked with through the years that they're married and they're like, no, I can't have that conversation. No, I can't have that conversation. No, I can't tell her that. No, I can't tell him that. I can't have, this is gonna create drama and I don't wanna deal with it. Well, that tells me you're not really in it. You don't really love that other person if you're so scared of having to sit in your own emotion or sit in their emotion or have that tough conversation. So my major messages today is look at where you're avoiding your growth through not having those tough, vulnerable, loving, loving being the key conversations. 
because those tough loving conversations is where it's at it's where our growth is it is where our um our expansion is where our connection comes from it truly is um uh, so and you must go at them from a space of breathing connection to yourself breathing into your heart and and really keeping this open because if you armor this up in a conversation you have just taken yourself out of the game just taking yourself out of the growth game. So if you're having a tough conversation, if you're getting ready to have a tough conversation, uh, or if you're choosing to avoid the tough conversations, then it's time that you really, really look at what's the best way to love this other person. Is it truly to just bring rainbows and sunshine into, into the relationship all the time? No, no. Yes, if you need that too. You need the beauty, you need the the lovey-dovey shares, you need the, the building up, but you also need the truth. You need the integrity, the authenticity. You need the authenticity in a relationship as well. And these tough conversations can, can, and they do oftentimes lead to the most loving relationships. So look at where you're avoiding those. Outside of that, grab the fire within. It all comes down to you in truth. It doesn't really matter what the other person is saying. The tough conversation growth comes within yourself and if you're able to stay connected. So grab that fire within. Grab it, grow it, expand it, embody it, and empower yourself. Empower yourself to your own growth. Um, on another note, I have a bunch of workshops that are actually going to get put out in the next day or two. So Keep an eye on my website at smbuild.net if you're in the DFW area or online because I've got a, I've got some online. I've got some in-person workshops coming out. And so keep an eye on that if you want to work with me. There's always my one-on-one -on -one application that you can fill out, again, at addisonbuild.net. Other than that, go have a fucking amazing day. And again, grab that fire within. Love you guys.